Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add a custom domain name to your Apple iCloud Plus subscription. If you have Apple iCloud Plus, you're able to use up to five custom domain names on that platform and that gives you the ability to send emails from your own custom domain name instead of the iCloud.com domain names from Apple. Let's get into it. As it explains here, when you subscribe to iCloud Plus, you can use a custom domain name that you already own to personalize your iCloud email address, or you can purchase a new domain. I'm going to add my own email domain because I already own an email domain. And when you are able to, uh, to add up to five email domains here, and per email domain, you can have three custom aliases. That's very nice, of course. I will leave the link to this article in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Now, I already own a domain, that's the vikash.video domain. This is just for testing purposes. And this domain is registered at Cloudflare. It's running on their um, DNS servers. I don't have any DNS records set up for this domain because when you add your own domain, you have to be able to change DNS records, add or remove DNS records for that domain name. That's what the iCloud platform is going to ask you to do. Uh, that's one way of ensuring that you own the domain, right? So if you don't own the domain, at least you should have admin access to adding and removing DNS records for that domain name. And that way they can verify that you uh, are entitled, that you, that you have the right permissions to adjust DNS records. Now, let's go to iCloud. This is my iCloud account. You can see that I have a iCloud Plus subscription with the two tier terabyte storage plan. Oh, that's very good. And that gives me the option to add a custom email domain name. So if I click on the dots on the top right corner, I can click on custom email domain. It will immediately take me to that wizard, which will guide me to the steps I need to take to add that uh, custom email domain. Now, just like I said, just in the article explained here, you can see here, you can use a custom domain name or you can purchase a new one. Now, if I go back, I will add my own domain name because I already own it. It's running at Cloudflare, so that's fine. I will click on add a domain you own. It will ask you, is it only for you or do you want to share it with other people? Because if you have an iCloud subscription based on the subscription um, uh, the model you have, of course, you're able to share certain uh, options, certain features from iCloud Plus with your family and friends. I will say I am the only one who is going to use this email domain. Now, I can now enter the email domain and click on continue. And then basically it will start a verification process to add that domain to, uh, to, the, iCloud, uh, uh, to the iCloud platform. So what it's asking me now is add an existing email address because it has to have an email address running there in order to receive an email to authenticate you. Now, if you don't have an email address configured, because if I go back to my vikash.video domain, as you can see here, I don't have any DNS records um, configured here. That means if someone is sending emails to this domain name, well, basically there is no DNS record telling it to um, to point it to a specific mail server because that's the whole point of adding this domain to iCloud uh, platform. I need a mail server to handle it. I want iCloud to handle it. So click on no email addresses. Now, if you do that, then you can scroll down and it will tell you, well, in order to verify that you are the owner and you are allowed to change the settings for this, de this domain name, we need you to update some of the records, right? So if you go back, these are the DNS records. Here is the place, the DNS records. We can change, add and remove DNS records for this domain name. Now, this is exactly what iCloud is asking me to do now. So if I click on the view button, it will show me certain DNS records I now need to add at my domain registrar. So let's do that. So as you can see here, I have to create two MX records. So let's do that. The first one 
is pointing to MX01 and the second one is pointing to MX02. Those are the mail servers for iCloud and the priority is for both is 10. So let me just copy this real quick and I will add a record. And click on MX or search for MX here because I need to add a mail exchange record. This is for everything and the mail server is, I will put it for one hour a TTL and the priority is 10. So this is the first one. Click on save. Now, as you can see here, I have created my first DNS record for this domain at Cloudflare at my register. I need to add a second one because I need to add two MX records according to what Apple is telling me. So let's click on MX for everything on the domain and then add MX02.mail.icloud.com and I will lower the TTL to one hour and the priority for this one is 10 as well. Click on add. Now you can see I have created two mail two MX records with the content according to if I go back to the iCloud.com tab, I still have it open. These are the settings I need to add there. Now, this is not all because I need to add a text record, a SPF and a DKIM record. The TXT, the text record is basically for Apple to do the authentication that I am actually the domain owner and I am allowed to change DNS records for this domain. So what we need to do, go back to Cloudflare, say add a record, add a txt record this is just a text record for the root for the whole domain basically as you can see here this is the host at and then copy this value i'm uh, copying from the wrong record go back to the txt of course copy the value from the txt record which apple is proposing go back to cloudflare and enter the value in the content. I will again lower the TTL to one hour. This is something I just do for best practices. Make sure that DNS records are not being kept longer than needed on, um, on the DNS servers. Now I've added that content, click on save. Now, as you can see here, I have added that TXT record with the domain name, with the correct content to iCloud, to, uh, sorry, to Cloudflare. Let's go add the SPF record. It's a TXT one as well. And copy the value from here. Make sure you copy the value, including the correct quotation marks there. And do the same here. We will add a record. It's a TXT record. That's what Apple is asking us to do. Add it for the complete domain, not for a specific host name. I will lower the TTL to one hour and the content is I just copied it over from here. If I go back to the iCloud.com tab, I can see, just check, make sure that everything is copied over correctly. Is it okay? That's correct. Click on save. Now let's go back to, now I have added four DNS records. I need to add a fifth one. This is for the DKIM. And pay attention here. This is not a TXT or an MX record. This is a C name. Uh, the host has to be this value. So let's go back to Cloudflare. I will create an add records and I will say the type is C name. The host name is the value I just copied over and then the target. The target is this host. Copy it over the copy the value over from uh, here and then paste it of course to here. Disable this proxy status. If you're using Cloudflare, Cloudflare is allowing you to have uh, a proxy for certain types of records, and then they will handle that uh, traffic for you. Uh, I don't want to have them doing that. It is a direct DNS record. So lower the value again to one hour, and that's it, click on save. Now, as you can see here, I have added five DNS records for my domain. I, exp I showed you this process for Cloudflare, but basically this process is the same for every DNS register uh, there is. You have a, the, a DNS name registered with them, and then you need to change the DNS records, add or remove the records according to the 
uh, to what iCloud tells you to do. Now let's click on back because this was step three. Now I need to check on step four. Step four is finished setting up the domain. So after you changed all the records on your registrar, verify to see if your domain and address have been successfully set up with iCloud Mail. Because what I'm what it's is going to happen is when I click on finish setup, the system, the, the wizard from here will reach out to the registrar of my domain name. In this case, it's Cloudflare. These two DNS servers are responsible for running this domain on the internet. It will reach out to these DNS servers and it will check if the records which is, is, uh, it has proposed in step three are created there with the correct values. That's the way how Apple will verify that that DNS name actually belongs to you. Now, let's click on finish setup and see what happens. Confirm that you've updated the records. Yes, I have done that. If you don't, well, if you're struggling here, you can of course click on review the instructions and it will show you some information about how to change DNS records. I will just close this out for a minute. Let's go back here and say, I can confirm that I have changed the DNS records. I've created the DNS records as Apple proposed. So click on confirm. And there we have it. It is telling me your domain is ready to use with iCloud Mail. My domain, video is set up and I can now use iCloud to send and receive emails with verified addresses based on this domain name. Click on continue. And of course, what it will ask me to do is, well, do you want to change your default, e default email address? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as it is. This is okay. And I'm basically done. Click on done and I can just close out this wizard. Now it will go back to my iCloud.com email address. And if I refresh this page, I can see here that I have two domains configured now as my custom email domains. So how do I create a email address to use on all of those domains? Let's let me show you that. Now I can see that I have two custom domains set up on my iCloud Plus account. Let's add an email address for that second domain. So what I did is just basically click on custom email domains and then you can select the custom email domain you already have added there to configure an email address. So I've I clicked on vikash.video and I want to add an email address here. So if I click on the plus sign there, it will ask me, all right, what do you want to do? You do demo at vikash.video and I will click on add email address. And let's see if I can add emails or send emails from that new email address. Now let's go to the mail app using uh, on the iCloud.com page just to do some testing. Click on mail, then compose a new email and see if the from address can be changed to that new email address. Yes, that it can. As you can see here, I'm able to use YouTube demo at vikash.video as the from address when sending from iCloud. Well, the same settings are available on all your Apple devices, which are using the same iCloud account, of course. So that means that from every Apple device you have, from your iPad, your iPhone, your MacBook, you are able to send emails, for the from address, which is based on your custom domain name. Take note that the from address or the new email address you added here, it can take a couple of minutes to show up in, uh, in your iCloud account. So it will take a couple of minutes before you are able to actually send emails using that custom domain. This, that's just some background processing going on at the Apple site. Take, give it a few minutes refresh the page and you should be able to see that new added email address based on your custom domain to select to be able to select it and send emails from it and that's basically how we set up a custom domain name on iCloud and use it to send emails with your own email address from iCloud just make sure that you have that correct iCloud plus subscription allowing you to add custom domains
Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. And see you the next time. Take care. Bye.